guys and welcome back to my channel. This is my second time filming this because I just filmed half of the update and I was just rambling along. I didn't know what I was saying. I'm planning the Too Faced Chocolate Bar this year and it is not going very fast but I believe I can finish some shades by the end of the year and some shades will definitely just be there by the end of the year. So my plan for this palette is definitely to have it gone by 2020. So I am going to pan this as well as another palette palette for 2019. So I hope you guys are looking forward to keep seeing this on my channel because it's definitely not over. <laughs> I'm going to insert a picture from last update so we can compare last update to now. This is where I am now. So you can see some expanded pants, some new pants, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about the shade and how I have been using them and stuff like that. So I hope you can see the difference. This Franken Shadow White Chocolate and Strawberry Bond Bond I repressed a few updates ago together because white chocolate was getting low and Strawberry Bond Bond, bon bon was a shade that I didn't really care for and I thought I could mix in with some white to make it a good setting powder for my eye lip primer. <laughs> I'm just chugging along with that one and I am certain that I can finish that by the end of the year. So that will be very exciting. My go-to crease color this month have been Milk Chocolate and I have been really loving it. It is a mixture of a cool brown and a warm brown. So that is really, really nice. And I have been loving using it. I have it in my crease right now, together with a cooler toned shadow from MAC. It is the Witch shade that I have trying to hit pan on this year. Haven't happened yet. As you can see, I have pan on Black Forest Truffle, but it's not that exciting that you would think. Because I have actually departed some of it into this empty pan, together with some of Amaretto and Marzipan. This is my go-to eyelid color right now, and it is very true to color <laughs> if you mix Black Forest Truffle and Amaretto together. And there are some glitters in it. It doesn't show up that well, but it is what I have on my eyes today, on top of a cream shadow from W7, this one right here, it is called New Sensation. So that is why I have a pan on Black Forest Trouble. It's kind of a cheating pan, but I was mixing them anyway, so I thought why not just make a kind of new shadow. This is where I am with the deep powder shadow right here, and it is staying here on my palette because I'm not traveling right now. So this is where it's staying. Other than that, I'm going to put it in my C palette if I am traveling with it. Then we have Triple Fudge. It is this darker color right here in the corner. I have some small pan by using it in my brows. And this past month, I haven't really done that. I have done it a few times. And it looks really, really nicely with my new hair color. So I think that is going to be my go-to brow color, even though I am panning a brow product in a project pan right now. It just matches me so nicely. Then we have Salted Caramel over here, and it has very much expanded pan. I love this shade so much, and I don't want it gone. I have considered repressing it because it's getting low and hard to get on my brush. And then we have Master Pan. It has some expanded pan because I did repress some of it into this single shadow I created, Franken shadow, whatever you want to call it. My go-to out of shade is of course semi-sweet because I haven't hit pan on that yet and I don't know if it will happen but there is a okay dip in it right now so I'm using it and I'm trying to put it a little bit in my crease just to use some more, you know, but not overdo it. The empty pan is strawberry bond one that I mixed into white chocolate. Candy Violet, it isn't a shade that I have focused on this month, but today I actually put it on top of a uh, purple eyeliner here from NYX. It is called Pretty Violet and I really love, love their combo. Um, so yeah, that is how I have been using that one. Again, Amaretto, there's a corner gone because it is in this shadow right here. So the pan in these three shades are 
this frame shade over here that I have hit pan on. As you can see, I haven't used hot chocolate or hazelnut this month, but I have used Cambole a few times. Chair Cordial I have used a few times, but you, you really can't see any progress on it, even though I have used it. But yeah, then my frame shadow I have hit pan on, as you can see there. So that is kind of my update. It's not really exciting, but something have happened and I have just been loving using or oh, creating some frame shadows to kind of helping me using this palette and not get bored because it's very brown. And I tend to get bored, so I'm creating some small frame shadows to keep me motivated and just making it uh, going through this and using it every single day easier but this month i have been doing a lot of other looks as you may have seen in my videos because i have been pre-filming a lot so that is what you are going to be enjoying most of november i hope you are going to look forward to that that's everything for my update i hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far this year and i'm definitely going to do another panda palette next year i have kind of decided already because i i love planning out my projects and deciding I have been doing a lot of swatch parties and that is just so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new updates for this project or the new project next year. I'm so excited for my new adventure next year. So until my next video, I hope you guys will take care. Bye.